Anyway, uh, let me let me address this thing real quick. I was a little bit shocked that he actually admitted this, but salute to my man, Meek Mill. Meek Mill today, I believe he dropped Flamers 5, and he did a Ask Meek Mill today, and it was actually shocking in some of the stuff that he said. I couldn't believe it. Um, let me see. Now, you know I'm the po pocket watcher extraordinaire. Let me see. Trying to find it. I don't think he deleted it. Okay. So anyway, um, so someone said to Meek, yo, when are you dropping Expensive Pain, the Deluxe? By the way, that's his last album on Atlantic. He said, yo, I let those albums go once I seen I was getting 13 cents to every dollar. Once I r really figured out that I ain't promoting no label shit, I don't eat off. My money really comes from my name and my brand. This was very alarming, and by the way, I'm not here to shit on Meek, and I'm not here to try to belittle him, and I'm not here to make him look stupid at all. I know Meek definitely has attorneys. I also know Meek probably has been in some deals that's antiquated. I do want to let y'all know what industry standard is, and I want to explain to y'all, and this is why I keep saying the game, when, when, you see, when, I, when I say that dusty and broke shit, like in terms of the, it's, well, it was one old head I was talking about, when I say that people are not passing the game on, it was shocking for me to see Meek Mill tweet this. When Meek said he was getting 30 or 13 cents to every dollar, that deal that Meek was in got to be one of the worst deals in music. I want to give y'all very realistic, and this is what I'm saying. Why don't the other artists in the game actually share this knowledge? If you're a new artist right now, even without a buzz, and you were about to sign to a label, right? They're going to own your masters this and third. They're going to give you some nice advance, whatever, whatever. What usually is going to be the deal is that you're going to get about 14 to 15 points. Now, what I usually call points in the music industry is percent, which means per every dollar after recoupment and after a bunch of stuff, you will get in terms of royalties on the records you'll get usually 14 to 15%. Actually, most artists now, it's usually 15%. I'm going to be very honest with y'all. To hear Meek Mill say, who's a 10-year veteran in the game, that he's only getting 13 cents. Let me give you the, the, the lifespan. If, if you're a new artist, you get 14 to 15 cents, Right? Maybe they, they do it 12 cents. I don't know. But but niggas must really think they put you on if they give you that. Or your lawyer must just not know the industry. Because I know niggas who don't really got much going on, they're getting 14, 15 cents, right? Now, you might be like 14 cents, 13 cents, who cares? It does matter. I'm going to tell you why. Because throughout the lifespan of you as, a, as an artist, after your first project, if it does good, you're, you're dropping singles, they're doing good, you get to renegotiate. You don't wait till the end of your contract. Usually, every artist signs for five albums. Remember, I told you that. Young boys sign for five albums. What usually happens is that artists say, well, I just outperform my contract. My album went double platinum. I'm doing great. I want to renegotiate. Any record label who's getting, by the way, they're getting 20 times the amount of money you could possibly think off your record. They don't want you to stop making music. You know what they're going to say? Oh, we can re renegotiate. Okay. We were giving you 15 cents. We'll give you 16. Or we're giving you 14. We'll give you 16. Okay. We'll also give you a bigger advance. What does that mean? A bigger loan. But it makes the artist feel good in, in their soul. Oh, my God. I was supposed to get a 200000 advance. Now they say they won't give me 800000 Now I could really... Ice out the homies. I could cop the new crib. I could do this. And my shows is busting. Perfect. Now, a lot of artists, and I always tell y'all this, whenever y'all hear me talk about rappers and money, and you'll be like, oh, Ak, you was just hating. No, I'm not. When I'm talking about rappers and money is because I know 90, let me not say 90, 80% of rappers do not make money from their records. They're perpetually in a perpetually in debt. 
after that advance check they get, the 800000 right? And the expensive album budget, they're booked. You know what I mean? Some of these guys, oh, we're booked out at Quad Studio for three months. Perfect. You're going to be in debt for your whole music career, okay? Because, you know, obviously, the way they the way they put fees and all that shit in, in, into your contracts, that that money that you, you are basically loaned is going to come back with interest. And essentially, by the time that you think that you'd be, they're playing the long game of years. You're trying to recoup in a year or two before your next album. You won't. So you're going to go into your next album in debt, right? But it's all part of the game. So what essentially happens, the artist is bragging about his new watch, his new this, his new car. Everything is great, right? He's also he's just saying, I just got 800K or maybe got a million. The label sent him a million, maybe 500, 500 uh, up front and 500 when he turned in the next project. Bro, he's on a high. He's getting 150,000 per show. You think that he he's the man. Now, granted, this is also another trick. They don't realize, and most artists start thinking, well, fuck what I'm getting from the label. I'm getting 150K per show. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a reason why niggas like Youngboy don't need to go on tour. He says he don't want to go on tour. He's getting a lot of money sitting from the house, just recorded. Right? There's some niggas, they wouldn't get a fucking dollar if they didn't go on tour. But in the hype of things, oh, yeah, yo, I got a million from the label. You probably hear them talk about it in a rap. Yo, I just bust a million down. I just got a million dollars, and I'm getting 150 a show. And any nigga want a verse, it's 100K. Sounds great. Okay? Now, let's keep doing the math. That million they got. Because their first album did good. But really, they really ain't recoup from the, the first album. They just renegotiated on some other shit. Remember, it's still for five albums. Cool. They turn to the next project. The next project is taking a while to recoup. You know why? Because if they gave you a million, maybe they maybe they only spent 200K to, to market you on the first one. Now, if they gave you a million, they might have to spend 800K. It's going to take a long while to recoup. Your number is going to be phenomenal. You looking at your know, act on tweet. Oh, shit. Actually, I did 150. It's lit. I'm the nigga. No, you're not the nigga. You're in debt. But it looks good. But the, every all the fans are saying, you're popping. You're not getting no more checks from the label until you try to get another advance. And you know what? Maybe you actually that lit. You might get another advance. Guess what the other advance is for? Maybe 1.5 million, maybe two. Perfect. You get another. You get another uh, um, check, which is another loan. You're getting further and further in debt. You haven't recouped yet, but you know what? The label ain't trying to recoup in a couple of years. They're down to wait 10 years, 20 years, but you're expecting to get paid now. Perfect. You're still getting 150k per per show. It's all good. But if you look at the shelf life of most rappers, after that third album about, everybody done heard everything you done rapped about, you done capped it out about all the shootouts you've been in, all the drugs you supposedly sold, all the niggas you robbed, all the niggas you shot. It's only so much you could tell us the same lies 50 million times. So you know what happens? Start going down a little bit. Keep in mind, your label is still trying to recoup. They're going to recoup. So it's gonna take them a while. Okay, now you're you're a little bit upset because in your eyes, you on fire. You keep going to the shows. You keep looking on your Instagram. You're the man. Then somebody says to you, "Why why your label ain't cut you no check? You just dropped a song. You went like five time platinum. You're in debt though. You're not getting no more checks." You're going to see how the story matches this right here. Why am I not getting no more checks? Yo, my song is fire. It's in the streets. I'm in the clubs. No, you're in debt. No more checks. So now you've gotten a grand total of about like four or five million dollars. And now 
you're looking at them because you want your you want an advance for another album. Except they've realized you've kind of you're a little bit old news. You're not the guy no more. You're uh, there's a new guy who they just signed, and niggas thought you was crazy, but he really crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> you was little killer. He was a little little killer. He really going crazy. You know what? They signed him for thirty k. He's streaming out the ass. He's in the streets with the shooters. He's getting locked up. Streams are going through the fucking roof. They paid 30K for that. Now you need to get 2 million as your next advance. They're thinking about it. Do we cut this nigga 30 million? No, no, no. Oh, 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 no. Do we cut this nigga 2 million and then give him a $3 million um, studio and promotional budget? That's 5 million in the hole. Or Lil Lil Killer, who we could get for $30,000. We signed him already. And shit. We give him $60,000 promotion and we give him a feature with one of our other artists, Lil Serial Killer. We'll probably make more money there. You know what happens? The label switches up on you. When you come to the office... They don't got essential water no more for you. Not even Fiji. Poland Spring. Eh. You asking them, yo, yo, I just dropped a song. Why is that on all the blogs? It's no promotional budget. They're kind of in the limbo stage with you. Should we spend it? We should probably save it. Little Little Killer's really popping. You getting the drift? It's a business. It's always another gangster rapper. It's always another R&B singer. It's always another you. This is the game where they use you up and they toss you the fuck out. That's why you got play behind the scenes. Let me give you a little bit more game. So usually people, when you sign your rookie contract, let me go on the meat mill time in. You get 13 cents. You renegotiate. Remember, you're getting more and more money on the advances. Now you're supposed to get 15 cents after recoup. Keep in mind, you're never recouping. And then you sign, you re up again for a bigger advance because you are the guy. You know what you're supposed to be getting? 18 cents. Usually, I've never seen people get more than 20 cents when you're under that system. Unless you're, you, yeah, you're not really, you got to really go crazy. This is a royalty rate deal, right? Okay. Keep in mind, you don't own the masters. Hopefully, they ain't give you the puff daddy, which means they got some of your publishing. I was going to ask, how many of these contracts you think they got the publishing to out of the, 50, the ones that got the 15%? I, I won't say they own the whole publishing, but they might have a piece. Because you know how most labels got a publishing side, too, that they'd be like, yeah, you get your publishing. Don't worry. No, 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 usually, yeah. most labels take a piece of the publishing. Like, taking all the publishing, it, it, it's like it, it's some ditty shit. I ain't going to lie to you. That's like, everybody, like, any decent fucking lawyer in entertainment law, would just be like, yo, bro, they're taking all your publishing is wild. No, no, no. Uh, unle uh, un unless you're unless uh, unless you're a fucking nobody signing to Drake. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it got to be like nobody knows you in the fucking world. You're signing to Drake. You know what I mean? Like, that's not going to happen. Anyway. Well, how, much, how much of the publishing do you think they'd be taking? Oh, 10%. It's normal. 10%. 10%? Okay. 10% of your share. So they'll leave you with 15 on the master and take 10 on the pub. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, that's normal, nigga. I'm telling you. I got nigga, I got, I got, got standard contracts I could give niggas. And that's no, exactly I'm what I'm saying. I'm asking, I'm asking for clarity for the chat. I'm okay. Yeah, it's, so, all right. Okay. So usually you work yourself up from that 13%. So this is why this is interesting. Meek says, I let those albums go once I see those get 13 cents. This is shocking to me. Ain't no fucking way 
Meek been in the game for 10 years and he's getting 13 cents to a dollar. Ain't no fucking way. Let's keep going. He says, I made $11 million in 10 years from music. And he says, just music payments. So he's clarifying. He's not talking about from shows. He's not talking about like, you know, these ancillary things he probably did. Just from his label paying him for music, he made only $11 million. Meek Mill is one of the top. He's one of the only artists who have sold over 200,000 records first week at least twice. He sold over 100K four times. And you're telling me he's only made eleven million dollars. Now, granted, I know because you know sometimes when I when I, when I mention money, I'm like, oh, it's a million dollars. Of course, that's a lot. Of... Let me say to you, Meek Mill's catalog has grossed at least a hundred million dollars. So let's now talk about it. What? His catalog is gross to $100 million. But he's only made $11 million. And by the way, he probably never noticed or cared to really check on that. You know why? Because he's getting $70,000 every time he pops up in a club. He's getting one hundred and seventy dollars when he does a show. You forget that you're... You're, you're making a lot of money. Anyway, let's keep reading. He says, I made $11 million in 10 years from music, just music payments. I was shocked and didn't really want to rap for any label. Now i got a point to pr prove to show you can survive without getting, I mean, raped. He then says, on a bad month, I make a M. A lot of people let me down when I educated about my own business. Now, let me also explain that. He's still saying he makes a million a month. But it's not because of payments from music. How much you think Ross got of that? I'm uh, before I even get to that. I might, but well, I'm not trying to show Meek up. I'm not trying to show me. Like, trust me, I appreciate me saying this because it's helping educate. It's help. You got to spread education, bro. I'm telling you. So I don't want to show him up at all. Yeah. How much I wanna bet? How much I wanna bet that Russ made more than Meat Mill off music? And Russ never had none of them songs that, that's bigger that like Meat Mill songs. So Meek does make money. So so let's not it's not broke nothing like that. But clearly what he realized is that he wasn't getting a lot of the money from his music. He had to go work for it, for it afterwards. Anyway, listen to this. He says, don't give me a plaque. Give me the financial paper of how much the song recorded that I recorded for 20K made 20 million, not an award. He said he made a song for 20K that made 20 million. He said, don't care about a plaque. He says he wants, he said, I'm from the trenches. I don't want that shit. I want an estate. I want my whole family tree to beat the ghetto. 